Welcome back everybody. You may hear some banging in the background. I've put it off for as long as I can. If I don't record now, there's going to be no part for the day this goes up. Because I'm a wee bit behind because of my recording time has been bangy bangy because neighbours have work being done, but put it off for as long as I can. I need to do this now, otherwise there'll be no part for tomorrow. I'm also testing out a new way to do the sound. So hopefully there'll be less fans and I'll be balanced properly with the sound you are hearing from the game. Hopefully, if all goes according to plan. We do have a level 4 Manfred. He is one level away from getting his zombie dragon. That is going to be so great when he gets it, it's going to make him so powerful. Not well, it technically lowers his stats, but it's going to make him fly in. He'll do a lot more splash damage. Gives him more health to... Like, stat-wise, it looks like he's worse. But he's just... He's going to be so much better. That missile resistance will really help. And it's really what we need as well for when he gets that mount. Because that's his main threat is going to be then... The sort of... Ranged DPS. But what do we want to put a point into now? We've got Raise Dead and Leech Life. There's no spells I'm outrageously, desperately wanting. They're nice, but I don't want to spend that many points into getting up here. I'd rather make Manfred stronger. Now we've got the Hunger. We've got this all the way up. Oh, do we have... Flying Horrors all the way up. Walking Dead. Oh, we might go for that. Actually, do we want to make Manfred stronger? So when he's on his zombie dragon, he'll be really strong? Or do we want to make his grave guard better? And his crypt horrors better? Charge ones for cavalry, two ethereal units. Replaces magical animus. Gives leadership, this gives the leadership and melee defense. That is a lot better actually. I we'll think we'll go for this. So he's, when he's flying around he can actually increase the defense of his troops a lot. Combine that with Invocation of Nehek. And this guy can make his army pretty tough to kill. And if we do get that they'll be pretty beefy killy wise. So yeah I think we'll go for this. Then maybe this. And we'll keep Manfred close to the main line so he can invocate and stuff like that. Then maybe get a charge in the rear with his zombie dragon where they're vulnerable or some archers or... I don't know, we'll see. That'll make him... He's a key player now. He's playing a role in the army. He's not just becoming a boss on his own. Chaos are building up there like they're getting ready to attack me though. There is going to be a rebellion there, I'm not that worried about that. We can't upgrade Talabinum. Do we want this straight away? Or do we, what do we want to spend our money on? That is quite expensive. So we don't want that. Where do we want to spend our money? It's probably going to want to be spent on one of these. Research rate. Yeah, we'll go for the research rate. Late. Late up late. Ah, I didn't know you got more than one type of corpse cart. You get two types. Lovely. I thought you got corpse carts from... I've not really taken a look at the vampire count stuff yet from the DLC. I forgot about it till just there, to be honest. I thought you got corpse cart from these. A corpse cart. Ah, so you get better versions of the corpse car. Okay, I really did not know that. That was magical disruption. 
That's mass regeneration. That is the ones you want in your army, folks. I just thought there was a basic corpse cart. Spread the rot. There's no room in here to recruit. We were recruiting another army though, weren't we? Where is that army? Where is that army? It's been a while since I've played this. Of course it's been you there. You there. You there. It's Necromancer. Oh, we're not recruiting another army. We must have just been talking about it then. Okay. We shall end turn then. See what chaos does. What are you going to do, Chaos? What are you going to do? These are coming deeper in. These have got a third army there. Wolves, our lives are making long. But the grave is eternal. I think we might soon, to be honest. We'll decline for now. Because if we could kick our Chaos now, or... Uh, if it wasn't for that rebellion, it might have been a good time. Because their three armies are there. If I could take them out, we'd only need to then basically take out Chaos. Province Ostland. Mission failed. Oh, damn it, we're not in range to attack him. Thought we might have been. What's the garrison here like? Oh, it's actually not bad. Oh, yeah, because it's walled. I forgot it was walled. We might be able to defend here then. My bloodline calls. Bam. No local recruitment, I'm afraid, though. They are suffering attrition, which is good. I don't want to move either of those armies because they won't be able to make it back in time. Talibanum. Scarce and Lake. Right, here's what we're going to do then. You've got a good garrison too. What do you want? There we go. That's what we're gonna do, first of all. Yes, yes, we've got him down and out for the count. And we got a spell up or an upgrade for him. I think we should go for hunger. Replenish his hit points when he's fighting. Oh, he's got another one. Okay, he must have went up twice, so he did do two battles. And I think we shall go for Order of Supremacy to start heading down this sort of stuff. Put you back in there. Manfred did not level up. But we'll tell him to head back that way in case we forget. Forgot about them, to be honest, but I don't think they're large enough to matter. Level 12, the assassin will move you down here. Start moving you up. I want to reduce that chaos corruption here and get my corruption on the way. Vampire corruption's on the way down. Level 9 assassin. You're not going to be able to do much, just stay here. Just stay there! The rest of my money. Let's upgrade Verbad's garrison. Just see what that actually gives me from level 2 to level 3. Upgrades the. Gives me an extra Crypt Horror. And gives me two Cairn Wraiths. 
instead of the three great guards with no melee, uh, without great weapons or shields. Okay, that's not so bad. So their double takes away three of them because we took care in wraiths. And plus it upgrades my towers, which is really good. Really, really good. The reason I'm upgrading here is because if the Chaos Wars does start, I've got my two large armies up here. I'm not that worried about up here. It's if they come blitzkrieging down, here's probably gone. Not much I can do about that if they do. Right, let's end turn. See what Chaos does. You can tell Chaos knows the war with me is coming. What are they going to do? Let's see. Oh, they're splitting up. Okay. If they split up, that may be very good for me. We could take out our Kaon. Then the other two armies I don't even technically need to take out, I just need to defend against. And then we just take out Chaos. And then we win. Raiding, yep, he's raiding me. In my books that gives me justification. Let's take a look at our victory objectives though, just to make sure we're thinking about this right. Don't mind, we need to take out Empire, we need to take over twice as many lands as we own at the moment. It shouldn't be hard if we expand a wee bit more and finalise taking over Nuln and Reichland which we need to take. Limit the Chaos Warriors to the Chaos Regions. Ah, so we do need to take out those other armies and Archeon. Okay. Okay, okay. I would definitely want that up. Can now move you back here. What? You back here. See what all the odds are. Block army assassinate. Very low, but should have good outcome and chances of him. How much is it going to cost? Not that much. Let's try it. Failure. Oh, you failure! You stupid banshee queen. Right. We shall go for Misdirector. And I need to pause recording right now because it sounds like the wife is back. And okay, I'm back. Um, Baby Claw and Raven are also in the room now because I put it off too long. So I'm just going to try and quickly finish off this part. And at least then I'll have something to go up. This area is needing more defences and a bigger gold mine will always be beautiful. <laughs> Lol. You can probably hear him. Yeah. So yes, yeah, situations today is not very good, but I need something up. So how to spend the money. A wee bit more. We could start recruiting that next army, but I think it'll tip me over. I still need to have a bit more income to me. Yes. Public order here is still going down, so I'm probably going to need these troops. Um, the risk taken here? How much will it cost? Oh well. We need to keep expanding. We need to don't have the money to get this though. Let's see, what did I spend son? Did I spend money on anything that is not really needed? Anywhere? I don't think I did, right? We'll just need to wait till next turn before we upgrade it. But here is definitely the place I can't lose. I think Chaos are just walking through, threatening. To be honest, so let's see.
Right. Let's see, Kiosk is up next. What are they up to? Yeah, they just appear to be walking through my lands. Which is not the best, but it's not the worst. Rebellion imminent. Up here again. Yes, I know. Oh, how come I can raise all these dead so far? It's as though there's been a big battle. Oh, it's because it includes here, and I think that's where those people died? Yeah. How was if I jump back over here? Uh -huh. Ah, so I thought it was done by thingy, but it's not. Damn it, I should have raised some dead there. Is them, but we should have man for it to be able to help. That would be nice for more income. Public order, and that would be nice. Getting this up to level three, very nice. We're nearly up to nine k turn again. Very nice, very very nice. We need it. Public order's going down here. That's not good. Corruption's at 61%. We're probably going to need to hire someone to... Oh, beautiful. Hopefully they take that out. Because it looks like Outdoor... Empire has its army there. He's probably going to move them down. Maybe Chaos can put some pressure on and they won't be able to come down. Hopefully. Well, let's end turn and see what happens. Oh, character has skill points. Heinrich Kremler. Raise dead would be really nice. I think we're going to go for raise dead. So he's got invocation and raise dead. Then after that, I think we're going to go for like flying horrors, walking dead type stuff. Right, let's see what chaos is up to again. There's the rebellion. Why is Manfred over that side of the water? I thought I told him to go to. That's not the best. The rightful elector of Stirland. No, we gotta be careful. We gotta play it careful. As long as things are still going good, we've still got time, we can kick Chaos out in our own time. We don't want to bite off more than we can chew before we're prepared. If Chaos are going to give me more time, I'm going to take it. Province Ostland, yes, there's a rebellion. Kislev has been obliterated. Raiding, raiding, yep, 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 all that stuff. I don't know why you came over here, that's a pain, I'm not going to get you over here in time. But there is a wall there, so it's all good, we're fine. Move. Yes, you move. Now, where is this money going to go? What's it going to go into? What are we going to put this money into? So hope that army takes none for me. Okay. I am a lord of Bretonia. Never. Bretonia is over here, eh? Wonder if they're looking to fight chaos or what they're planning. Uh -huh. Well, that would be really nice. We're gonna get that there and here just to help defend it. Going well. Darkness comes. 
Mm-hmm, it does, Kramler. It does. You know what? I'm starting to think Talabainum's quite well defended. It doesn't really need an army there anymore. Well, once Archeon leaves, actually. Yeah, we'll wait till Archeon leaves a wee bit more. And put corruptions on the way up. Yes, yes. No. Deploy you, Who deploy you. Destroy? What I really need is one of those buildings that spreads corruption up here as well now. Right, let's... So we've still got some money, what are we going to spend it on? Let's spend it on upgrading Talabainum's wall. Just to make sure. Next turn I think we're going to delete those troops we raised. Have Manfred look after Ostland's capital. And have that one general go around colonising again. That's Archeon moving up. Yeah, perfect, perfect. So we're going to try and expand into Kislev, fortify the buggery out of that. Then once we've got that fortified to buggery, we then have the choke point so Chaos can get into the Empire really well defended. We'll then go out, we'll hunt the armies of Chaos that are in the Empire. Obviously have an army permanently stationed up at the top part of Kislev, but we'll be able to afford that then. And then we can just focus on uniting the Empire under Manfred. And then everything will be all done and completed. Darkness comes. Right, we're not going to waste those troops yet. So we're going to move you to the, uh, there. What? Yes. Just so we take a little less losses from the auto resolve. Right, finish him off, Manfred. Oh, hopefully this levels him up as well, and we'll get his dragon. Yes, we did. We leveled up Manfred. Let's get his dragon. We've got the zombie dragon. Oh, even on the campaign map, just look at it. Right, we shall march into there. Lovely jubbly. Disband all them, there's no point paying their upkeep. And this is a free province with Norden, so right, up you go. You're gonna force march it as well. Up to there. To colonize me some more land. Right, we want that straight away. And we're probably gonna want some growth here. Yeah, we'll go for the growth building. Let us make do you can jump into here. We still have quite a good bit of money left over. And start thinking about getting that third army soon. That's here, it's got that. Um, not that desperate to get up the fortifications down here yet. There's lots of stuff that'd be nice to build here, but it's not important at all. How is. Is it here? Abraham, I built it? Yeah, so but we've got to get this up to level 5 first before we can upgrade it. Okay, that's that then. Not spending the money there. We're gonna want this sooner or later, so we'll get that. And that's how we're gonna spend our money this turn. Actually, still got some left over. Do we save it? We'll get these. Better safe than sorry. For all we know, orcs might come charging up here or something. That'd be just my luck if the orcs started charging at me now. As I'm dealing with chaos in a sort of civil way, we'll do one more turn and we'll call it apart.
Dwarfs just walking through my land. Orlocks. Yeah, they're definitely fighting chaos, so that's great. Oh, that army there's done. The rebellion must have failed, the empire must have came down and crushed it. Well, that's a pain. Right. You jump into here for me? Why can I not? Oh, you're on force march. There we go. Colonize it for me. And our province secured. We're going to give it the growth and the vampiric corruption. Oh, we're actually going to have a port. That's nice. This guy's leveled up again. No, oh, he'd make a great general for my new army. Let's give him... I want to get this stuff up here, but there's nothing here that's really going to benefit him. I have to go for the aura. I suppose the leadership is important. That should help with public order here as well. Now I do feel like we could have a second general here expanding this way maybe? Oh no, because I'm then going to want to keep expanding him this way and I want Manfred to be able to move on so Kremlin's probably going to need to be on public order duty. Ah, that'll be nice, we'll get that. What else do we need to spend money on? Fort thing. They are there's fine as well into my territory at the moment. What I really do need to take is there. So you know what? We're gonna public order is just fine here. We're gonna recruit a lord to see what we've got. Ah, he's quite nice. <gasps> Forgot we had Strigoys now as well. Oh we definitely want a Strigoy lead my next army then. Sad to see Vlad hasn't been added, or is, no he's not, that's someone else. I just seen Von Karstein there, I was like, oh, oh. Spurned, public order, local province, but plus two to leadership. You're going to be our new recruity dude, for going on up. And we're going to recruit a Strigoi. Ghoul King, and he's going to be our character. Let's see, does he get anything different in here? No, it seems to be pretty much the same sort of stuff. So, we'll call this a part here. Hope everyone has enjoyed it. We'll start recruiting an army here. We'll start fortifying up this way as well. Start pushing into Kislev next time. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Hopefully the knocking hasn't been too bad. And hopefully my new way of recording has uh, improved the sound quality. So, hope to see you all next time. Bye-zee-bye. -bye.